Okay, so this is a little different situation. I had a couple of rather strong hives here. Um, and don't be thrown by the fact that I'm running one stack of honey supers on two hives. We'll concentrate on the 10 frame boxes below. So I went through this one here on this side first. And I didn't find the queen right off but what I did find was a few a few swarm cells being drawn and, and fed up um, it's always hard to tell exactly when a swarm cell will cap and emerge but I'm gonna guess in be anywhere between three and five days they'll be capped so I'm using that time frame as my guide so what I did is I just took that frame out and I didn't bother finding the queen so this hive is still queen rate. And what I did was I took that frame with the cell and I put it in this little box here. I made some markings on the top to remind me what's going on. And they have a little entrance that I can open up on the front. I'm gonna move this to the other side of the apiary just to kind of get it out of the way. She can sit there and, and mate from there. So that's all good. And then the hive on this side, I looked through that and I did find the queen. So I took her out, I took the frame that she was on and I put it in this box. Same kind of box, ventilation at the bottom, there's a two inch shim at the bottom. And by the way, that two inch shim serves the purpose of giving space for a swarm cell if you're making a swarm cell split. So again, a little entrance I can open up once I get it to its final resting place. And so then the mother hive, now they're queenless, and not really too happy with me, but uh, I did a few notches in there and made myself some notes on the lid here tell me what day I did the notches and what to check, etc. So anyway, those are just some notes as to what I did here on these two hives. So we might have a couple of new queens off of these.